World of Warships has many useful additional features that can make your gaming experience much more comfortable. Today, we'll talk about some of the more obscure tricks and ruses, both in port and in battle. We'll start with the features available in port. When we obtain a new ship to play with, it's usual to want to contemplate her from every point of view possible. From keel to masthead, from stem to aft. To do this, press and hold the left mouse button and move the mouse to view your new arrival or old friend at any angle imaginable. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. In the same way, by holding the right mouse button, you can examine her without the distracting interface. This feature allows you to take some very beautiful screenshots of your favourite ships and set them as a background for your desktop, for example. To do so, press Print Screen. All images are saved in the game's root directory in the Screenshot folder. To snap a good picture, the background is very important, so we recommend experimenting with different ports. In the upper left corner, next to your nickname, you can find the name of the current port and an inscription below. Select Port, left-click it and select an option from the list. In the same corner, on the left of your nickname, is your insignia. If you click it, you can select a patch or emblem that's to your liking. If you click your nickname and select Inventory from the drop-down menu, you'll be able to exchange all the necessary modules and other in-game items for credits. To check exactly which modules are installed on your ship, you only need to double-click its icon in the carousel. By the way, you can hover the mouse cursor over a module, additional upgrade, commander skill or signal, you'll see up changes to a ship's characteristics after mounting the selected item. Any ship's specifications can always be seen to the right of it, and if you expand all the tabs and click any particular armament type, the camera will focus on it. It's a pure pleasure to examine every detail of the main and secondary guns, AA armament and torpedo tubes. The Specifications tab also has the Armour item. You can enable and disable the display of protection for different parts of the ship, and by pointing the cursor at one of the layout's coloured elements, you'll see the thickness of the armour at that point. The majority of elements in port are interactive, and you can obtain additional information about them simply by hovering the mouse cursor over them. For example, you can bring up the history of a ship in this manner. If you click the right mouse button and select Set as a Primary Ship, your favourite will be shown as one of the first in the carousel. If you have many ships, you can set the carousel to show only those that you're currently interested in. You can also click the magnifying glass icon to search for any ship by name. The ship selection carousel itself can be made more compact. World of Warships also has a commander carousel. To open it, right-click the portrait of your commander and select Go to Personal File from the menu. It's a good place to perform all actions for your commanders, select their skills, reassign them from one ship to another, retrain them, send to reserve, dismiss and cancel dismissal. Now it's time for battle. Click the Team Members tab on the loading screen. There, you can hover the mouse cursor over any other ship in the battle to see its specifications compared to yours. By right-clicking the nickname of an ally, you can create a dynamic division with them. When in battle, press and hold Control and the cursor will appear. By left-clicking an enemy ship, you'll set it as a priority target for your secondary armament. You can also left-click sectors of the minimap to highlight them for your allies. If you click the cog icon above the minimap, you'll bring up its settings menu. Here, 
You can change its opacity, enable or disable the display of the action radius for your secondary armament, AA defences, the visibility radius of your ship from air and surface, and the action radius of your consumables, such as surveillance radar and hydroacoustic search. Now, quick commands. To bring up the quick command wheel, press and hold B and left-click the command you wish to send. If you want to address it to a specific ally, you need to have them in your reticle or at the center of the command wheel when you send it. Keys from F2 through F12 duplicate the quick commands. The ZX and C keys can come in handy in the heat of battle as well. Z tracks the most recent artillery salvo or torpedo spread you fired. It's not only a beautiful spectacle, but also a useful one. For example, if you fire at an enemy hiding behind an island and track your shells, you can see the exact location of the adversary and take the necessary target lead or select a more appropriate ammunition type. The X key locks onto a target. We covered this feature in the episode called How It Works, Firing and Dispersion. The C key switches the camera between the bow and aft turrets. In open waters, this functionality isn't very useful. However, if you and your opponents are separated by an island and only your ship's aft is sticking out from behind it, pressing C can suddenly become a great idea. Doing so will allow you to fire a more accurate salvo with at least one of the turrets at your disposal. We hope these small tricks will make your gaming process more comfortable and, most importantly, fun.